Okay, so normally I wouldn't be filming this late at night, but I just, I don't know. I picked up this seven and a half horse, 1955 Not, uh That's the power head off of it. Um, I pulled the power head off. This thing uh, wouldn't run when I bought it. So uh, I pulled the carb off and uh, cleaned everything out. I put the carb back on and uh, first pull it started up and it runs really well. Um, so I continued, uh, you know, doing normal tests, try to shift it in gear, and it wouldn't shift. And the puzzling part is, is that um, um, the motor would uh, would spin if I shut it off and put it in gear and turn the prop. Um, the the flywheel would would spin, but if I had this thing in the barrel, um, it wouldn't do anything. Um, so that kind of irked me. So I pulled the power head off. Really simple job to do. Seven screws on the bottom. This is the uh, main part of the motor. This is the lower leg. So I pulled it off, and uh, this is my shifter here. That's uh, this part here is your shift. Goes into your shift rod, which goes down, and. Uh, so I pulled it off, pulled the lower unit off, and uh, these motors, they have a, oh, I'm kind of babbling here, I'm kind of tired, um, they have a shock absorber, which is uh, this little unit here, and uh, the bottom part here goes into uh, the lower unit, I've got the lower unit here with the bottom piece off, as you can see there's my gears, so uh, once I took the uh, water pump off I found this uh, bearing plate here if you look closely at this bearing plate um, it's split right here okay so mister bearing plate split or is it let me have a look see uh, when I looked at it before it was cracked yeah you can see there right there there's a split so um, after doing some research on the web um, the eye boat forms guys are saying that these uh, these shock absorbers can break. So I'll just uh, put the camera down here. There we go. So uh, I took the shock absorber apart, which I'll do right now, which are not normally supposed to come apart. I took the shock absorber apart and uh, lo and behold inside you've got this nice little coiled spring mechanism and what it's supposed to do is when you hit uh, when you hit a rock this spring is supposed to tighten up inside um, and release once you you get past the rock and uh, it's basically like a shock absorber um, so what happened was is this 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 shock absorber it's, it's in a multitude of pieces here this uh, this shock absorber must have hit and uh, caused it to jump upward so when it did when it when it moved up like so it caused the uh, the shaft this part as you can see here it's all war it ran up into here causing it to hit that plate now everything's at a whack and there's uh, obviously it's really badly broken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get um, a replacement shock absorber for this motor. And uh, the other thing is, is it wouldn't shift properly. It would uh, the detents. You couldn't feel a shift in forward or reverse. And uh, when I took the lower unit apart, the uh, the actual uh, shift rod was bent past the detents. So this thing. It would shift into gear, but it wouldn't go anywhere because of that broken spring. So uh, once I get the spring back on, we'll uh, have a look see, get uh, get the motor back together. But uh, it's just a quick lesson on these lower units. Um, really simple to work on. Too bad it's uh, it's broken. It's going to cost me some money to fix. But I bought it as a project motor for seventy bucks with a tank. The uh, the tank's worth probably about a hundred bucks by itself. So. Um, I'll continue my film once it's fixed.